Good day, learners! Today, we are going to learn about the changes in states of matter. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin! All matter exists as solids, liquids, or gases. These are called the states of matter. Matter can change from one state to another. Look, look, look at the pictures. The pictures show the changes between the three states of water. The ice is changing into water. The water is changing into steam. The water is changing into ice. When the solid chocolate is held over the flame, heat is added to it. Its temperature increases and it melts. It changes from a solid to a liquid. When the liquid chocolate is cooled, heat is removed from it. Its temperature decreases and it becomes solid again. It changes from a liquid to a solid. Always remember that matter changes its state when it is heated or cooled. When matter is heated, its temperature increases. When matter is cooled, its temperature decreases. The change in temperature causes the matter to change from one state to another. Matter can change from one state to another. When a solid is heated, its temperature increases until it changes to a liquid. We say the solid melts when it changes to a liquid. Ice melts at 0 degrees Celsius. This temperature is known as the melting point of ice. Besides ice cubes, there are many other things that melt too. Can you name them? Melted butter Melted ice cream Melted gold Always remember that matter can change from solid to liquid state when its temperature increases. Melting is a process of matter changing from the solid state to the liquid state. Water in a liquid state can change to ice in solid state when its temperature decreases. The water loses heat to its surrounding and changes to ice. When a liquid changes to a solid, we say it freezes. This process is the opposite of the melting process. Water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. This temperature is known as the freezing point of water. Here are some examples of other liquids that change to their solid state. Melted wax hardens. Jelly solidifies. Molten lava from volcano becomes rocks. The sea at polar regions freezes. Always remember that Matter can change from the liquid state to the solid state when its temperature decreases. Freezing is a process of matter changing from the liquid state to the solid state. When heat is added to water, the temperature of the water increases. The water gets hot and starts to change to steam. Further heating will change more water to steam, and the volume of the water will decrease. When a liquid changes to its gaseous state at a fixed temperature, we say it is boiling. 
water boils at 100 degree Celsius. This temperature is known as the boiling point of water. Water can also turn to its gaseous state, also known as water vapor, at any temperature and at any time. We cannot see water vapor. This process is known as evaporation. Our wet clothes have water in them. When we place our wet clothes in the sun, they become dry after some time. What happened to the water in the wet clothes? The water in the wet clothes has turned to water vapor and escaped into the air, leaving the clothes dry. When perfume is applied on our skin, it will dry up after a while. This shows that perfume evaporates. Our skin produces sweat, which will eventually evaporate. The cooling effect from the evaporation helps keep our body cool. Always remember that Matter can change from the liquid state to the gaseous state when there is an increase in temperature. Boiling is a process of matter changing from the liquid state to the gaseous state at a fixed temperature. Evaporation is a process of matter changing from the liquid state to the gaseous state at any temperature. There are a few things that can change from the solid state to the gaseous state directly. This process is known as sublimation. This process needs heat. Have you seen mothballs before? We use mothballs and cupboards to keep moths away from our clothes. However, the mothballs will become smaller after being exposed to the air for some time. They will disappear eventually. The mothballs turn to their gaseous state slowly when exposed to the air. You might have seen a foggy visual effect on a stage or in a television program. How is that fog produced? We use dry eyes to produce the foggy visual effect. Dry eyes is a solid state of carbon dioxide. When it gets warm, it changes directly to its gaseous state. Always remember that matter can change from the solid state to the gaseous state directly without going through the liquid state. This process is known as sublimation. Do you have any question? Okay, so now let's have our game time! Let's play some games! What is the process by which a solid changes into a liquid? A. Melting B. Freezing C. Evaporation or boiling D. Sublimation The correct answer is A. Melting Great job! What is a process by which a solid changes into a gas? A. Melting Melting B. Freezing C. Evaporation or boiling D. Sublimation The correct answer is D. Sublimation Great! What is the process by which a liquid changes into a gas? A. Melting B. Freezing C. Evaporation or boiling D. Sublimation The correct answer is C. Evaporation or boiling Good job! 
what is the process by which a liquid changes into a solid? A. Melting B. Freezing C. Evaporation or boiling D. Sublimation The correct answer is B. Freezing Great job! Please do not forget to click like and subscribe and see you on my next videos. Bye-bye!